welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about how a capacitor works. So a capacitor is two parallel plates that when we put an electric field over it can store some charge. The job of a capacitor is to store charge. Okay. So what I have here is I've got a circuit with a cell and I can tell there's a cell because there's one big line and one small line. A switch, a resistor and a capacitor here. Okay. So at the moment the switch is open. And what I'm going to talk about is how a capacitor actually works. And you can boil it down to four main steps. Okay? So, when the switch is closed, switch is closed, there is an electric field in the capacitor. So when I close the switch, okay, this, the cell itself produces an electric field. And this electric field goes over the capacitor. And this is a uniform electric field. So this is an application of uniform electric fields. And this is the positive, so this would be the positive side of the field, and this would be the negative here. So, part two. So first of all, an electric field is made. Part two, electric field attracts electrons onto the negative plates, but they do not cross it. Electrons, so there's two types of current. There is real current, and there is conventional current. Real current is the movement of electrons. Conventional current is the direction of the field. So we traditionally say that the current goes from positive to negative. That's how the electric field goes, okay? Not the flow of electrons. Electrons will flow from the negative to the positive side of the field. So the electrons will move around here, and they'll get to this plate here. And they are being attracted by the electric field to the positive plate. But they physically can't cross it. It's like a short circuit. So the electrons start piling up on there. Okay, they do not cross it. If they cross a capacitor, the capacitor has failed. It's not storing charge, it's acting like a circuit. So the idea of a capacitor is to store charge. When this is fully charged, when the capacitor is fully charged, we'll talk about how to work that out later. Basically, there are so many electrons on here that the force of attraction from the positive plate is negated by the force of repulsion by these electric charges. Any other electron that's trying to come up here is repelled. So what would happen eventually, current would go to zero on here. No current will flow because there's so many electrons being stored because the electric field is there. Then what happens, so that, that's what happens. The circuit then acts normally, so the, the capacitor just stays there fully charged. The important thing is what happened is when I take the electric field away. So when I turn the circuit off, so I turn the switch off. This electric field would disappear. The thing that is holding all of those electrons there will not be there anymore. And these electrons, so the switch is open, the field drops, the electrons flow around the circuit. These electrons will leave. And depending on a few things about the circuit, depends on how quickly they leave. So the two things that predominantly affect how quickly a uh, capacitor will discharge is how many electrons it was holding in the first place and the resistance of that circuit. So this resistor here will affect the circuit. And the way to think about this is if I have one door and a thousand people to go through that door, that's going to take quite a while. If I only had ten people to walk through that one door, okay, it's not going to take long at all because I've got less charge. This is symbolising less charge. If I had a thousand people and a hundred doors, I'll be able to let them leave much quicker, and that's representing less resistance. Okay? So this idea of capacitance is a, is a component that stores charge, and it works on the basis of holding an electric field and using that electric field to hold electrons there. Okay? Once that electric field's gone, the electrons are not held there anymore, and they leave. So that there are the basics of how a capacitor works. In my next few videos, I'm going to talk about the mathematics, about how to work out something called the capacitance, and also looking at how quickly something charges or discharges.